Hello everyone. Welcome to my Tuesday live here. How are you guys doing? Let me go in and just notify the group that we're on here. Um, let's see. Let me share this video. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Hi, Trish. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I feel like we haven't talked in forever. I think it has been forever we haven't talked. Let me share this here. All right. Um, I'm so happy to see you on here. Hi. Um, I hope you got your... Oh, hi, Carrie. I hope you got your... Did I send you a package in the mail? I don't think I sent you. Yeah, I sent you the catalogs. Um, it's been forever since we talked. So um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everybody's staying warm. And I wish I was in Florida or someplace south. So I'm going to introduce myself because I've had some people say, maybe we, you know, maybe you should introduce yourself. So I know you guys know me, but my videos are out there. So I am Christine Dam. I am the owner of Crafts with Chris, which is a paper... Um, paper business, paper crafting business, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! Dem demonstrator, and I've been one for uh, a little over four years now. Uh, best decision ever. I just love it. I'm having so much fun doing it, so um, that's me. That's who I am, and I'm coming to you from my beautiful craft room in the background. It's super messy, but it's not. Um... Oh, good. You got your, your catalogs. Awesome. No problem at all. I know the catalogs are so much, there's so much information in them. You can go online and you could do all the shopping on my site, but I don't know, the catalogs, I just love the catalogs. You get all the, your ideas and I just don't think you can, the online, online site does as much justice as having those catalogs there. So um, just don't forget you guys when you're on here, um, make sure you you're commenting, which I do see you guys are commenting every time you comment. Um, well not every time, but you just have to comment once you'll be entered into a wheel after 24 hours of this video posting and, um, wherever the wheel lands, you win a little present from me as a thank you for tuning in. So I appreciate you guys here. Um, I appreciate all of your support over the years and stuff, especially you, Trish. You were my first, first online customer. So exciting. So, and we've become good friends since then. So, um, what else did I want to talk to you guys about? I have a little cheat sheet down here. Well, you guys all know, you guys do, you, you're aware it's celebration time, best time of the year. This year, it's only running through February 28th and... We are going to have another celebration sometime in, I think, summer. Um, they're doing a little different this year. Usually it's only once a year. They're going to break it up. And celebration is the best time to shop from Stampin' Up! Every $50 you spend, you get a free product. If you spend, um, you know, you could spend $300 and you would just, you could get either three $100 products or six $50 products. There's a couple uh, different options you can choose from. And, but that is only good till February, February 28th. So make sure we get those in. Hi, Amy. Oh, I'm so glad you're on too. Um, make sure you get those orders in so you can get your free product. If you're going to order less than $150 worth of product, I do have a host code. It's always on my website at craftswithchris.com. Um, and if you always, you know, you can always message me with it. Please use that host code. It helps me out a lot when you guys use that. If it's over $150, don't use the host code. You'll get your own free products. What happens is everybody who orders from me who uses that host code, it builds up points. And when my workshop order hits $150, then I start accruing those rewards. So, um, and then that's what I use to give you guys the free goodies. So, um, and then of course, if you guys want to join, join is the best, joining right now is the best time. Um, one of the best times. It's always good to join, but I'd love to have you on my team. 
and right now Stampin' Up! is giving you 200 sheets of free designer series paper included in your starter kit. Your starter kit is $99, free shipping. You get $125 worth of stuff that you can pick out of the catalog, the current ones, and you also um, will get, I believe it's $50 worth of free business products. So um, it's a great time to join. So if you guys have any questions, you know, you can always ask me and I'll answer them. Hi, Tina. And I think that's it that I wanted to really talk about right now. So I'm going to point you guys down and show you what we're going to be working on today. Let me just flip you guys upside down so that you can see. All right, I'm going to flip you and now I'm going to turn you, spin you down here. Okay, so let me see. I think we're good there. I'm going to. So here is the host code. And this is what I was just talking to. So again, if you guys, when you guys put your orders in, if they're under 150, please use the current host code. This changes once a month. And sometimes I may have a couple going. Um, I haven't done that recently, but if I start doing card classes online, I may have a couple going, but always check my website or message me. So today I'm going to show you guys the card first. This is the beautiful card. I'm going to show you guys how we made. So pretty how I made. And um, it's really easy to make, especially with all of the products that we have through Stampin' Up, all the coordinating stuff. So this is what I'm gonna show you guys how to do. It's coming from the sweet package here in here in the mini catalog on page 11. Let's see, I don't know if you guys think so. It's the Love You Always Sweet. So on the bottom here, you'll see what is in this collection. It tells you how much it is, which this one, the whole collection is $162. But you get on the coordinating page next door, you get all these products in that order when you order the $162. Love you always, sweet. So you get two stamp sets, two dies, and then all this fun stuff in the middle here. So I'm using number two here, the love you always, or always in my heart bundle, I should say. Um, no, that's the wrong one. Forever and always bundle. That's the one I'm using today. I love this one. Now, this stamp set, let me show you the stamp set. So this is the stamp set right here. And inside, I always keep my dies with my stamps stamp set. So here's your stamp set. I have a couple of things out because we're going to be using these. But here's the dies. Now I, I did something different to show you guys the dies. I've had people ask me, what are the sizes of the dies? So I cut out every single die that was in the set. And this is on a five and a half by eight and a half sheet of paper. So you can see here's your two flowers and then these two are the leaves. And then these three strips here are for your sentiments in here. Um, and then you have your always and then another always, which layers on top of that. And then you have love. And then I don't know if you can see that in the camera. You can't, can you? Then you have love down here. And this layers on top. Now this love always is connected, but this love is not connected. Um, and then you have this little flower here where there is no, there, or I'm sorry, there is this little stamp to that. And then you have extra dies in here without the, the stamp are these cute little flowers. So when you run this die through, you get flo four flowers out of here. So I just thought visually this was better. If you guys like this way to see what the dies look like, I can do this whenever I do my videos. Um, it actually helps me too, because then I can see them and, um, you know, I might file this away someplace and then I'll have it always. But I thought, you know, this was a better way to visualize those dies. So that is the set we're using today to make the card. Um, with the card, I used Petal Pink 
and Whisper White. Those are my, my, um, just the cards that I use, the card stocks. So, oh, good. You, you like to see all, all the dies. Okay, good. I like that too. I just, visually, it just looks better. And then sometimes when I pull out my dies, I don't know what the heck that one die does. So this will help me get more familiar with some of the dies. Most of the dies I know, but sometimes you get that die and you're like, what does this do? And I'm always Googling it and, or asking another demonstrator. But so for today, I have your uh, Petal Pink card base. It's just an A2 size. So it's eight and a half by five and a half fold at four and a quarter. I'm just going to set this over to the side here. And I don't know. I don't seem like, let me see if I can lift you guys up a little bit. I just feel like I don't have enough room here. I think that's better. So with our Whisper White, you have one piece that's going to go on the inside of your card. And such a lag in the Facebook there. And then one piece here is going to be for the front of your card. And then another piece is going to be for the stamping. So I'm going to do the stamping first. Um, and you're going to stamp out those two flowers in there, the large flower and the small flower. So I'm just going to ink that up with Memento. And then you're just going to stamp these down and then you're going to cut these out. I already have some cut out, but I wanted to show you how pretty they look stamped out. They're very detailed. So, and the reason why I'm using the Memento is because I am using Stampin' Blends to do some coloring. So those are the flowers. They stamp out real pretty. So what you're going to want to do is run those through your um, die cutting machine. So I've already done that, so I'll bring those in. And then, so there those are, we're gonna color those. And then for your, you need a scrap piece of the um, petal pink. And in that stamp set, there's those sentiments. I'm using forever and because I'm also using always. So again, just ink that up, stamp it out. And then you're gonna cut that out of the die machine with those, um, with this die here, um, the mi middle size one. So I've gone ahead and already done that to save time. So I've got that cut out. So then, um, Let's see, what are we gonna do next? Let's do, I'll show you what I did here. So we're gonna bring in that other piece of Whisper White. This is gonna go on the front of the card. This one is cut, all three of these I cut five and a quarter by four. Um, the other, like for the these two flowers, you don't have to have it that size, you can have it whatever size, but you need two pieces five and a quarter by four. No, you would use, um, Amy, it depends. I like to stamp first because then you can line it up in your die machine. If it's a bigger die, you could stamp. Um, but a lot of times it's easier to stamp your image first and then run it through the die machine because you can line your die up really well with that. Where if you, like for instance, something small. This one isn't so bad, but like some of your stamps that are small and detailed, um, when you go to stamp them down, you could potentially, it could be harder. So it's a personal preference. Most people do stamp first and then die cut, but it's not wrong. Whichever way you're more comfortable with doing it is your choice. So yeah, like Tina said, it is a lot more difficult to line up the stamp after the fact. So what I did was I took this piece of Whisper White and I went through and in the stamp set here, there's this, the larger always. So I took that and I cut it out. I was going to do something different. Cut this out just out of a scrap piece of paper. I actually used um, Flirty Flamingo to cut this out 
because like I said, I was gonna do something different, but then I seen this and I said, that would look pretty neat um, inked up on your paper. So what I'm gonna do is, and you could do this with any of your dies, any of your punches, the, um, I don't know what you call this, the, the part you're not using, um, you would just set this down. I'm gonna take some washi tape to hold it in place. I'm actually going to put a scrap piece of paper underneath here. And I'm going to line this up towards the bottom here. You want to make sure it's completely on this piece of Whisper White. I'm just going to take some washi tape. I'm just going to put it on there to hold it down, to anchor it down in place so it doesn't move. Now, these brushes, I don't know if you guys have used the new blending brushes. They're currently on back order, but they're um, supposed to be in this week. And if you back, if something's on back order and you order it, you won't get charged any extra for shipping or anything. It just takes a little bit longer to come in. Sometimes it's better to order something when it's on back order, because sometimes if it sells out too fast, they take it off and you can't order it at all. But these guys are awesome. You get three in a pack and they blend wonderfully. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my flirty flamingo color and I'm going to just get some of the ink on here and then I'm gonna just rub it off a little bit because when you first, if you can see, when you first put it on, you're gonna get that dark impression. So you want it to kind of, so when you're blending, it's nice and even. Rub it off some. And then I'm just going to take this and go right over this stencil. This piece is going to move. That doesn't really bug me. I guess if you didn't want it to move, you could put a little piece of um, uh, removable adhesive down. But I'm just going to go over the negative part. That's what I was looking for. The negative part of your, your die. And I'm just going to kind of move that ink around. And you wanna just make sure you don't go off the paper. You wanna just stay on your paper. So when you're doing your die cutting, you wanna make sure your negative part is a fairly decent size. So you're not gonna put your ink off. So, and again, you can do this like with your punches too. Once you punch something out, you, you could use that negative part of it. So I think that's, pretty good. So I'm just going to peel this off carefully. So isn't it neat that cool little shading effect you can do? So you can save this and reuse it over and over if you wanted to. Um, but I just love how that turned out. So with your brushes, all you need to do is run these under water. And this one I used earlier with the same color and you can see there's hardly any pink on there. So it comes off pretty easily. And once it's off, I just took some paper towels and just kinda dried it as best as I can and just let it air dry and it'll be good to go for the next time. So that's what I did with that. I just love how that turned out, but you can see how that piece in there, that doesn't bug me, but if it bugs you, just kind of, like I said, put a little piece of removable adhesive down and, and anchor that one down. So with this, I went ahead and I cut out out of the die cutting machine, the smaller die in here always. And I actually put some of our, I'll show you guys. I don't know if you guys have bought this stuff. This stuff is amazing for these small dies. These are adhesive sheets. You get 12 in here. And all you do is you take out a sheet and you just put, there's, you can see there's lines in here to peel off the stickers. You can cut them down to whatever size you need to put on your piece of paper. And then you peel the sticker off and you put it on the back side of your paper. So I put it on the back side of the foil. And then you run it through your die cutting machine and then when you're ready to put it onto your work, you just take and 
peel this. Maybe. <laughs> there you go. So you just peel this all off. And then you don't have to mess around with any glue or anything. I love this. There is a uh, fine tip glue pen. I'm not a big fan of it. I mean, you might like that, but we do sell that. There's also the liquid mono glue. And look, that's it. The This stuff here, you could use this on the back. Don't squeeze it. Just let it uh, come out real, uh, you know, lightly. You could use that if you don't have the sheets. But I recommend those sheets. I don't use them on every die cut. I like to use them on these tiny intricate dies. So I just love how that looks. So there's that. With that foil sheet, I don't know if you guys have seen the foil. It is so pretty. It's like mirror on there. See how pretty it is? So it's in three different colors. So you get the darker pink, the um, lighter pink, and then it's like a champagne color. It's really, really pretty. So then what I did was I took a piece of the paper that coordinates with this. This is the um, Love You Always designer series paper. So it's very pretty, shiny. It's got the foil highlights in it. So you get um, the three different colors just like the foil sheets. It's the same colors. So I took the lighter pink out of here. I just cut a strip. It is one by four. And all I'm going to do is layer this strip right on the end here. And then these flowers here, I took my Stampin' Blends. I love the Stampin' Blends. And I took the colors, let's see what colors did. I got light Rococo Rose, and then I have the light and dark Flirty Flamingo. So I just took the light Flirty Flamingo and just colored the whole flower. I was gonna color these beforehand, but. So I just went ahead, and it's real easy to do the coloring with Stampin' Up! because they do all the work for you. They show you with all the lines and all the shading, where your darker colors go. So, and I'm using the, I don't know, I guess it's the paintbrush tip. I love the, this side. And this, the paintbrush one, I've noticed on the Stampin' Blend that it usually is lighter than the uh, marker tip then. So, you know what? I'm going to color this one, too. So, this is getting colored light flirty flamingo, too. And then the dark flirty flamingo, I'm going to take the uh, marker tip. I'm just going to go over these lines. Nothing fancy. I'm not being extra careful or anything. I'm just amazed at how wonderful your products look. And it looks like you spent like a gazillion amount of time coloring. And look, it, what's it take? Nothing. So again, I just follow the lines. I've never been good at coloring. I've never been like, I don't know the shading and all that stuff. But like I said, with Stampin' Up, they do all the work for you. And with the Stampin' Blends, they kind of blend in with the background. So, and the other thing with these is you want to make sure that when you are coloring, you have something underneath because they do bleed. Um, this, I don't know, I think I have Thick Whisper White on, on that I'm using. So, I don't know if, I've never really had them bleed through that, but they do bleed. So that's all I did for that. And then this guy here, the light Rococo Rose, I just took and colored the middle just to give it a different little shade there. That's it. 
they do look like Rococo Rose. I really love this color. It's called Maya's Cheeks. Um, it seems like every time I do a uh, Tuesday card, I end up matching it with my nails. So now with this, I'm just going to pop these up and... Where's my little forever? The forever also. We're going to pop that right up. So these guys here, I'm going to use the mini dimensionals. If you don't have the minis, you can just cut one in half, a, a large one. It's so much easier to have the minis, though. And then these guys are going to get the big. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see where this is going to line up. I want this to kind of be tucked underneath. So I'm just going to put my Stampin' Up! Dimensionals on this side. I'm not going to put them on the other side there. So I'll put two here and kind of leave that blank. Another thing, too, I wanted to mention, when you guys are um, using your embossing machine to cut these out, I know we don't have the metal or the, um, oh, what do you call it, the magnetic plate anymore. And I just love that. I use that all the time. So the dies move around a lot. So what you can do is just take a piece of washi tape, put your die down where you want it, and then take your washi tape and just put it over the die. So when you run it through, it's not moving. Um, that's another little trick you can do. I hope that we get a magnetic plate soon. I know some people aren't a fan of the magnetic plate, but I really liked it. And then this guy here, we're just going to put here. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring in our uh, uh, Petal Pink. I couldn't think of the name of it. And then we're going to just glue that down. If I can find, oh, here it is right next to me. Just going to glue that on the front. And then this other piece of Whisper White, we want to just glue that on the inside so you have a nice place to write. I know the card base is light enough, but I just love the look of the piece of Whisper White on the inside. And you could use computer paper too. You don't have to use Whisper White, but I just love how the white gives it that finished look on the inside. So there's that, but I'm not finished. I took some Wink Estella and... I just put it in the center of these flowers. Love that Wink Estella. And then I used the um, Pastel Pearls. And these actually are on back order. Um, I think they're coming in sometime in the middle of February. But that doesn't always mean that's when they're coming in. They could come in a lot sooner. Again, you know, if you want them, I would order them, even though they're back ordered. But I'll show you guys a little trick. If you don't have these and you want to create this card, and um, real simple trick. So I just took three of these guys and just layered them on there. Isn't that so pretty? With that foil, it just it's just such a pretty, pretty set. So let me show you the trick with these guys. We have in... The annual catalog, these pearls, basic pearl jewels, take your Stampin' Blends and, I don't know, let's try this one, the Dark Flirty Flamingo. Just take your Stampin' Blend and just kind of color your pearl basic. You could do it with the Rococo Rose too. That's a lighter one. I like that one. That kind of matches those a little better. That is the light Rococo Rose. And the Stampin' Blends won't come off of there. It's going to stay. It's not coming off. And then you can... Oh, it didn't stick on my take-a-pick tool. But, for instance, let me just... It's going to throw it off because there's going to be four of them. But, here. We'll just put that there. See how you can barely tell the difference? Isn't that pretty? So, if you like these pearls... They're on back order and you want to use them now. Like I said, grab your basic pearls, use your Stampin' Blends, color them. And you can do that with the rhinestones and stuff. 
use any of the Stampin' Blends to match what you're doing. So this is driving me nuts now. I got to take this off. It just doesn't look right. But so that's that for that. Um, the other thing I want to show you guys before you guys go, if I, oh, right here. I know I'm like a half an hour already. They, these sets, this set is actually already out. It's in the catalog right now. I'm a huge chicken fan. I love chickens. I have chickens. They're awesome. So this is Hey Birthday Chick. Again, this is in the mini catalog. I don't know. There's a glare on there. Um, so you can get this now. In February, February 2nd, they're going to re-release Hey Chick. This was a celebration item a couple years ago. And super cute little set. But the best thing is these are both going to have dies with them. So this one here, look at all them fun dies. You got a chicken coop and, you know, you got to love chickens to love this set. But super cute. And then this one too has the die sets with it. And there's the die sets here. So a little fence, happy birthday. So these are coming out. This one's already out, just the stamp set right now. But this stamp set and the matching dies are coming out February 2nd. So you guys can pre-order them. Um, Trish, I knew you'd love those. Aren't they adorable? I love the chickens. So I made, I played with them a little bit. I made some swaps. So the, here's a card I created. So I just love how it turned out. So cute. I used the all wired up out of the annual catalog because it looks like chicken wire. And then the rest of this is all um, mini catalog stuff. So I'm going to be doing some more stuff with that set, those sets, um, and showing you guys. So, yeah, the dies are amazing. I love the dies. They cut the little chickens out and stuff. So, super fun. So I hope you guys liked the card we did tonight. Let me pull you guys up here. Let me see. Thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I think that's about it. I will leave all the information in the link of the video once I get it uploaded and edited and let you know what I used and the specs of everything. And thank you guys again for joining me. Oh, I love the hearts. Um, and stopping by and watching me and shopping with me. You guys have been awesome this month. I appreciate so much your orders. Um, I think everybody that ordered from me the last couple of weeks, you should have received your gifts by now. Um, if not, there you'll get them soon. And um, that's it, guys. Until next week. I hope you guys have a really awesome week. You have a great weekend. And we shall meet again uh, next week. So see you guys later. Bye.